I am making a video today on misconceptions of bisexuality. A few, maybe last month, a month before, I made a video on my sexuality. I am bisexual, which means I fancy men and I fancy women, and that's just what that means to me. It was really nice on that video. I got a lot of support, and a lot of you said that you found it really useful for me to talk about my sexuality. A lot of you said that a lot of the things that I talked about you'd experienced as well. And it was really, really reassuring to me not to feel stupid. Um, and it was also great to hear that it was reassuring to you guys as well. Um, and a lot of you said that you'd like to see this kind of video of things you shouldn't say to somebody that's bisexual or misconceptions of bisexuality. And so I thought I'd definitely film it. So the first, big thing that I think a lot of people experience is that a lot of people will say you won't feel like this forever, that it's a phase, that you just need to experiment, all that kind of stuff. I have always felt, um, well for a long time I thought I was straight, then for a while I thought I was gay and it's just kind of been like that for since the time that I became aware of sexuality, since the time that I became aware of fancying people, um, I've always kind of been like, oh, I kind of fancy this person and I kind of fancy this person. And it was quite confusing um, until I realised I was bisexual. And since then, I've always known sometimes I fancy women, sometimes I fancy men. It's not something that is a phase. For some people, it might be a phase and that's also okay. It's totally fine to think you fancy women for a long time and then fancy men and never fancy women again, that's totally okay as well. Nobody's telling you um, that you have to be bisexual for your whole life or you have to be gay your whole life or you have to be straight your whole life. That's the beauty of it. You can decide how you feel um, and there might become a better word that comes into your vocabulary that you prefer to go by. Um, recently I discovered the word pa pansexual, which I don't identify with as much, um, but I think it would be useful for some people. You should never, ever, ever tell somebody that it's a phase. Um, it just really belittles them and makes them feel probably even more confused because a lot of the time when people are first coming out, um, it's a confusing time anyway. It's It's not an easy thing um, and it's also not a decision that people make, it's just a way that you feel and there's no rhyme or reason, there's no way to stop feeling the way you're feeling, it's just the way it is. I wasn't actually going to include this one because I thought it was so irrelevant in this day and age. I never really thought that people felt this way um, and that is that people might think that you're um, greedy or uh, a slut. Sometimes that's a word that gets thrown around when people say they're bisexual. I never thought I'd have to say this in this video that it's not true, but I think I have to because on my last video I got a few comments that were really hateful and really nasty about um, thinking that I'm greedy, thinking that I'm a slut, all those kind of horrible things, but it's obviously a misconception that people face because I've faced it now. Um, obviously that's not true. I have been in a relationship for a long time um, with a man and Obviously, just because I'm bisexual doesn't mean I'm any more likely to cheat on him. I'm never going to cheat on him. And just because I might fancy a woman, fancy a man, whatever, when I, when I am in a relationship, I'm committed. And I wouldn't dream about being with anybody else. When you are single and you're bisexual, it's totally okay to sleep with women and sleep with men. It's totally okay to kiss women and kiss men and have dates with women and men. It doesn't make you greedy, it doesn't make you any different. Just, just because a straight woman might date lots of different men, you can date lots of different women and lots of different men. It's totally up to you. If you are single and you're in a place in your life where you don't have a commitment to anybody else, then why not do that? I think it's totally 100% okay and there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. It doesn't make you greedy and I don't understand how it would make you greedy just because you have sexual attractions or romantic feelings towards women and men. There is no... It makes no difference. I think a question a lot of bisexual people get asked is, who do you prefer? Who do you fancy more? I've had this question asked to me and it's just a kind of ridiculous question. I don't have anybody that I prefer. Sometimes if you fancy a woman, maybe you fancy women more, maybe, maybe you have an ideal of who you'd prefer to be with long term or whatever, but most people that are bisexual don't have you don't have to choose. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to choose who you prefer. You don't have to choose whether you fancy men more or women more. It doesn't really matter because you might end up with a woman, you might end up with a man. It doesn't matter. It's just the way that it is. I have never felt the need to choose who I prefer. I've never really thought about who I prefer. I don't feel like I need to do that and so when somebody asks me that question I'm not going to reply because I don't have a reply and I don't feel like I need to reply. 
there doesn't need to be a preference. I don't have one, I fancy them both and that's okay, I don't need to decide. I think a big myth is that men who are bisexual are gay and they just won't come out and women who are bisexual are straight and they just like to kiss girls for fun at parties. Um, this is obviously a massive, massive misconception and I think particularly towards men, um, a lot of people, a lot of men when they come out as being bisexual, a lot of people say they're gay, they just can't admit it. No, men are allowed to be bisexual, men are allowed to fancy men and women they don't have to choose, just as, just the same as women don't have to choose. It's totally okay for a man to come out as being bisexual without people telling him what he should feel. He has found a label that suits his sexuality and he should be able to have that with people believing that's how he feels and without people telling him how he should feel because that's just really, really not okay. It's not acceptable. And if there was a straight person that said they were straight, it would be really unacceptable to say, no, you're not. Like, I'm, t I'm telling you you're not and that's not allowed, or you just can't, you can't deal with it, or whatever. It's not okay and men are allowed to be bisexual. I think as well that women do get the whole, um, you're not bisexual, you're straight, you're just looking for attention, or you just, um, because I, I felt like that. I felt like I didn't want to tell people that I was bisexual because they would think that I was looking for attention, or they would think it's stupid, or they think that I wasn't allowed to feel like that, until I realised I'm allowed to feel however I feel, and that's okay, and I don't care whether people think, whatever people think about it, because it's nothing to do with anybody else. I know how I feel, and that's important to me to be able to say that, and it's important for me to be able to voice that, and I don't care what other people think about it. I think something else women get a lot of is, um, if they, if a woman hadn't come out as being bisexual, or maybe she had, and she was at a party and she kissed a girl. I think a lot of people would see that as her just doing it for male attention, um, which is absolutely insane. I really don't understand that. If a woman is kissing another woman, why would they be doing it? To make men like them. And I understand maybe that is how some women work, maybe that is how some women do it, maybe that's why some women kiss other women and that's okay if both parties involved are, are okay with that then that's fine, that's what they've decided to do, but the majority of the time they will fancy that girl and that's why they're kissing that girl. If I was at a party and I was single and I was kissing a girl, it would be because I wanted to kiss that girl, it wouldn't be anything to do with a man. And I don't understand why it's always got to come back to pleasing men and this isn't meant to be like a feminist thing or anything like that, but just think. Why would it be anything to do with a man? Oh, that one baffles me. That one baffles me a lot. There are also plenty of other misconceptions that people think are actually true about being bisexual. But the bottom line is, the truth is, it just means fancy, someone fancies both sexes. That's all it means. Um, also, some people might uh, use the term bisexual to however they feel and obviously it's different for everybody. Some people might have a preference of who they'd rather be with. Some people might um, cheat on you if they're bisexual, it might happen. None of these are definite things that never ever happen, but bisexuality, if you look it up, the actual definition is that you fancy both sexes and it, you should never have a prejudice or a judgement of somebody when they come out as being bisexual just because of things you've heard or um, preconceived ideas that you have. If somebody says it, they're saying it to you and they want you to believe them and they want you to not think it's attention seeking and they just want to voice how they feel and their sexuality and that's just a great thing for them to be able to do. Um, obviously as well, I know most people don't think like this. I know that isn't what most people think, but apparently it's what some people think, which is a shame and it's just, I'm just trying to get out there and say how I feel about it and make people that are bisexual feel um, a bit less alone and feel like they if they've ever experienced anything like this, then it's not abnormal. It's, unfortunately, um, a lot of people have these misconceptions. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you soon.